Hey guys, this is the Iguana Web Analytics app for Splunk, which brings marketing and operational intelligence in one. This app contains many capabilities that include data ingestion, dashboards, reports, alerts, and machine learning functionalities for web analytics data. For today's demo purpose, I'm using Adobe Analytics Clickstream data. I'm going to show you how Adobe Analytics data can be ingested using this app. I will also go over several dashboards and reports after ingestion. For using Adobe Analytics Clickstream data, we require two additional add-ons along with this app, which can be found on Splunkbase. Let me quickly go to Splunkbase and download these additional add-ons. There are two add-ons I'm talking about, the Iguana Web Analytics technical add-on for Adobe Analytics and the support add-on for Adobe Analytics. So the Iguana Web Analytics technical add-on for Adobe Analytics. It navigates to our site to download the TA. Next, we will go back and download the Iguana Web Analytics support add-on for Adobe Analytics. There is an additional add-on for machine learning, which I will explain in a later part of the demo when I go over machine learning reports and dashboards. Now at this point, the add-ons for Adobe Analytics have been downloaded and installed on the Splunk instance where our main app, Iguana Web Analytics for Splunk is present. So let's go straight into the app. The first page that you will land on is the overview page which is the default page of the app and provides a general overview along with a link to directly contact us for any questions or concerns which you may have. Next, looking at the menu, we can see several menu items such as summary, marketing intelligence, machine learning, configuration, and so on and so forth. Before we get a good look at the dashboards and reports, as mentioned earlier, we need to first configure the application to ingest the Adobe Analytics Clickstream data. We will do that by navigating to the configuration page. If you want to ingest other Web Analytics data sources, ensure that it is SIM compliant with the Iguana Web Analytics app for Splunk. On the configuration page, you will need to enter the report suite name of your Adobe Analytics Clickstream data. Afterwards, select the file delivery method uh, your delivery schedule in seconds and method uh, along with the license key which you can request by contacting Archigent. Moving forward, provide the directory path which contains the source files. Next, provide the index name according to the user guide and the username. Once that is done, hit submit. You can verify submission by looking at the configuration record on the bottom of the screen. After a few minutes, your ingestion will be complete. Once it is, navigate to the summary page where you can get insights of your KPIs and trends broken down into specific tabs such as site KPIs, page information, and traffic information. Now let's navigate to the Marketing Intelligence menu where you can find different sections which contains visits, pages, key web, and since we've also ins installed the additional add-on for Adobe Analytics, we will find a section called Adobe Clickstream. Going deeper into visits, you will find links leading to different dashboards. In Visit Statistics, you can find statistical KPIs related to visits. In Visit Time and Geography, you will find time and geography specific KPIs. In Visit Domain and Referral, you will find domain and referral specific information. In Visit Visitor and Page View Analysis, you can gain insights into all three KPIs with unique visualization. Similarly, pages and key web sections contain links to different dashboards that provide specific insights and information. Now let's get into Adobe Clickstream. Within this section, 
you will find multiple links leading to different dashboards providing you different KPIs and metrics. I will quickly show you a few. Purchase statistics will allow you to gain insights into purchase trends. You can view the data in different time spans to better understand these trends. Next, dimension statistics provides you insights into different dimensions of your data. Shopping and geostats displays shopping activities over time along with geographical information. OS, JS, and Java displays technological information about your users. Browser info displays information on user behavior in relation to the browsers that they are utilizing. Customer statistics provides insights on customers who made purchases, and the extended version provides deeper insights into those details. Moving on to machine learning, which is only visible if the Iguana Web Analytics support add-on for machine learning is installed, is where you are able to get insights on predictions, clustering, forecasting, and anomaly detection. Each section within the machine learning menu requires user input to execute machine learning algorithms for pattern recognition to provide deeper insights into your data. Within machine learning, you will find forecasting to be extremely powerful in that it can be utilized to predict future trends for different KPIs such as sales, purchases, visitors, page views, etc. And all of that is based on your data. Anomaly detection is another one of those powerful assets that will provide you insights into outliers in your data. Additionally, Iguana Web Analytics has pre-configured alerts that can be utilized to notify you when different key events are triggered. If you want to find out more about Iguana Web Analytics and all of its functionalities, kindly get in touch with Archigent. We are just one click away to help you.